What's up, YouTube? Okay, got a Wi-Fi battle for you guys tonight. Um, but let's cover yesterday's question of the day. So what was uh, the dark type Pokemon with the lowest base stat total overall? And that would be Puchina. So if you wrote that in the comment section yesterday, you were most certainly correct. Now, uh, today's question is, what is your favorite fairy type Pokemon? This is an easy question, so any fairy type answer. It's fine, leave that in the comment section. My personal favourite is Denny. I quite like that very type. I'm not really a very big fan of them, but uh, if I had to choose, that would be my choice. Okay, if my, also if my narration's a little bit different than usual, not as loud or effort put into it, I just sort of am doing it in like an area where I can't make loads and loads of noise, so I just try and bear that one in mind. I'll obviously be back to that after Saturday and stuff, that'll be different. Okay, so um, I'm using my different, uh, not not a different team this week, just my n normal one. Um, I'll probably be getting some sort of new one uh, on the following week. Okay, um, so sort of a mix-up of pokes here. Mostly NU, which was cool to see. Um, since most of them have sort of been uh, OUU. Okay, so we've got a Mallow at a lead. Now, I'm leading with my superstar here. Um, I just thought, well, I might as well just U-turn this thing. Because I'm sort of expecting that Golbat to income and take my like Brave Bird or Double Edge or whatever the hell I'm going to do, and it's going to take that really well. And just probably be, you'll probably be definitely carrying Roost, and I'll just take recoil damage for no reason. So I don't really want that. Um, so I might as well just get some momentum and sort of force the switch. Okay, um, I just have a calm mind here. I was sort of surprised Golbat uh, stayed in for that one, which is interesting. Um, so I get a plus one anyway. I'm interested interest to see what he is going to do there. And uh, it turns out he goes for Taunt, so that's a good move. For him, I guess I can't really uh, boost up my Carmine anymore, so I'm just going to um, just go for, straight for a Psy Shock here. That's, I'm sort of running Psy Shock on this now because I like hitting physical with this thing, so it does hit um, not only special, but um, Umbreon is going to be able to block that easily. But unfortunately, uh, um, there's Hidden Power fighting on this, and I can do some decent damage at least with that. Uh, even though it doesn't do like a hell of a lot. So everyone's got to set up some curses here, which is a little bit of a trouble here. Um, so I know it's going to have, it might be one of those curse payback sets, but I wasn't too sure at the moment. I thought, well, my, I might as well just keep, um, like, see what it does, because I, I know that it's not going to be very fast, and I can probably revenge kill it if I get just low enough health. Okay, so another um, hidden power fighting there. Now everyone's either got a moonlight or curse, it goes for a curse, so, which is quite interesting there. That's going to uh, give it two buffs in attack and defense, so it's quite uh, quite bulky now. Um, either side, mm, I was definitely expecting a Moonlight next turn uh, here for sure, or maybe even like a just like a normal like uh, curse payback sort of set heal bill. Okay, so I nearly take it out there, didn't quite get it, but that's sort of to be expected. Uh, it actually goes for Baton Pass here, so that's interesting. It's going to plus um, pass its plus two to one of the other pokes. And that is going to be Flareon. So I expected this to be like a Choice Scarf set because obviously it's make up for that uh, speed drop. Or it might just be like a different, like a banded set or something because it doesn't really make sense to um, pass a negative speed to a Pokemon with a Choice Scarf. I don't know, know why you do that. Anyway, so I don't fail to take it out, but uh, that recoil damage is going to be pretty good for me. And I've got a Psy Shop in, so it's nearly down. So I can just swap in. Um, my superstar anyway and finish it off with quick attack here um, I'm banded so that's most certainly going to take it out with stab it's good um, so I wasn't too sure about that but it was an interesting play to try and that and pass it to uh, Flareon it already has like lots of attack anyway okay um, I didn't I wasn't going to take this out definitely with quick attack so I thought I might as well switch him to see what Musa has I know that it normally carries like a fighting move so that's good I can sort of sponge that off uh, it's also got psychic too so that's I'm not really going to like that too much does just under half. I get the seeds up, which is good, because that's going to make it at least a 3 hit KO, and I can sort of play around with that one. Okay, um, I've got the lefties as well, so I've got lefties and uh, Leech Seed Recovery on this thing. haven't actually seen a lot of these in battle um, before, but I know I can do the Relic Song and change its uh, form to Pirouette, so I wasn't sure if I had that, but most of them actually sort of do have that. Um, it goes for Tita Dancer set, which was interesting, so I get confused there. Um, I wasn't... I have to admit, I was not expecting that one, and uh, I hurt myself in confusion, which sucks. Uh, so I can't actually attack there. Uh, didn't do a lot to me because I'm more of a defensive wall anyway. I'm not really 
putting much into attack at all, anything. I think there might be four and four AVs in attack. Um, but I did more with Leech Seed anyway and got my recoveries back, so it wasn't actually that bad, I think. Uh, so I don't want to be confused for like 50 turns, so I'm going to just swap out and go into um, Nurse Joy again, and I'm going to take that Psychic uh, quite well then. I know that close combat is coming my way, so I just want to sort of get rid of it with this uh, Leech Seed on the field. I've got Protect as well, so I, can get, I know I can get another turn uh, of that as well. Since this thing is quite good in mix attacking, it's not the easiest Pokemon uh, to check at the moment. Okay, so with that, um, Protect block the close combat, and uh, that's going to get me a little bit more health back and put that in more range of killing uh, the Mellow Eater. Now, I was thinking here, well, I just can go back into Gorgas there, but they're probably going to guess that and just go for Psychic, but I didn't really have much of a choice there. I didn't really want to stay into a close combat either. And as I sort of predicted, they're going to go for a Psychic, and it's going to do lots to me. Um, but I've still got the Leech Eater left, so I know that I can take at least one more hit uh, before I go down, which is good. And that's um, a little bit more health there, so I'm slowly getting this Mellow Eater down, which has been uh, pretty fun to do. Okay, uh, so I should continue to go for Psychics there, and that's I know that's not going to take me out without a crit, and I do just leave that one, so I get the Phantom Force up. Um, which is good, I can get the leftovers and leech seed there, so obviously it's going to outspeed me next turn, but I'll be disappeared, so which is good, and that's going to be enough to take it out, and I get a little bit of health there, which is good. Um, so I quite like the leech seed Phantom Force combo, because you are you can sort of stall out a little bit more. Okay, so into Umbreon, hoping that it'll probably live and outspeed me, and try and get probably a Moonlight off, and try and bat and pass or something, um, but I do just take it out, which is great, so it's good to get rid of Umbreon, because that thing's freaking good. Uh, I've used it many times myself with a bloody good Pokemon. Okay, um, so more left is recovery there. So Pumpkin's doing pretty well in this battle. I've been pretty um, impressed with it. Um, back in comes in the Meloetta. Now, I thought that I, was, I might go into Happy New Year, but I thought they might predict that, so I just stayed in, and um, Psychic's going to take me out. But that's all right. I was uh, pretty happy with that anyway. Now, I know that I can bring in Superstar here. It is well in range now for me to go for Quick Attack, but I thought, I don't think it's that fast, so I'm just going to go for U-Turn, and I took it out there, which is good. Um, I was happy getting rid of that thing, too. Really annoying. Okay, um, let's swap that out. And there. Now, I thought the best option here, I'll just go straight into Typhlosion here, because a lot of his team is sort of weak to that, and um, Typhlosion is freaking just overpowered in this... Uh, tier. So I just went here for the HP Grass. I knew that he pr might live and go for Shell Smash, but I was really lucky there to get a critical hit there, so I'm pretty sure he would have lived that one really badly, and I would have been in a bit of strife there if that Shell Smash got off, uh, for sure. Since I'm locked into uh, Hidden Power Grass, and you can probably guess that I'm Scarfed, I'm going to have to swap there. Okay, so Bootstrap was probably the best option here, because I know that I can hit it with Super Effective um, here. Uh, it goes straight for the Super Fang there, which would have been a good option if I wasn't Scarfed, because that would have sort of dropped Eruption's power a lot. Um, so I just went straight for uh, Rock Slide instead uh, because I, I know that it, it carried Taunt because it did use that earlier on. I didn't want to, I wasn't sure what its base speed was, if it was really bulky or bulky and had some good speed with it too, but it turns out I was actually faster, which um, which sucks. So I thought, well, let's just go for Shell Smash here because he hasn't really shown signs of any other physical moves apart from Super Fang. Um, uh, even if I had like Brave Bird, I I don't think that would have killed me either. Uh, it turns out it's got Roost, so it's going to Roost all of its health back there, which I guess is fine because I got a free Shell Smash up, so I was quite happy with that uh, outcome there. Uh, whether it was going to kill uh, here was uh, the question. I knew it would get very, very close, um, but I know how bulky Golbat is in defense, and it just lives fuck. <laughs> um, so it actually misses with Super Fang there, so that was really good for me because if that did land, I was definitely gone due to the toxic damage. And uh, it probably would have been able to roost up again and been really annoying. So I did get like, quite lucky there. So that's uh, Golbat down. I'm glad to get rid of that thing. And that's my bootstrap who's going to go down too due to that toxic damage. Okay, I think I've got two... No, wait, three pokes left here. I just brought out Superstar because I know that his last Pokemon is Shift Tree. Um, I remember in the team uh, preview. Now, I just went straight here for Brave Bird. I wasn't sure what it would be. I was just guessing it would be one of those Life Orb sets. Um, so I just went straight for Brave Bird to finish it, and he doesn't have like a Sash or anything. Um, so that's game pretty much. So it was interesting to reverse a couple of those Pokemon too. Uh, I quite like that. It was fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this too. So just um, that question of the day, what is your f favorite fairy type Pokemon? Leave a comment in the comment section. Also, um, if my narration is slightly quiet or a little bit not as usual, it's because I'm doing this in a, uh, a 
place where I can't uh, do my narration as best as I could, but I thought I'd try and bring some videos to you guys anyway. And uh, as usual, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Peace out.